Hey everyone! In this tutorial we'll follow up uh, the last one and I'll create a transition that will make the character jump from ledge to ledge and play a different animation depending on whether the character jumps right or left. And once we've done that we'll add a little something that's called transition correction which will take care of a character animation not quite lining up with a ledge or a zone that the character is transitioning to. So, yeah, this map is what we've uh, left off with from the last tutorial. And the first thing I'll do is create a second ledge. And our character can still transition from ledge, uh, from walking to ledge, but can't jump. So, the first thing we'll do is open the custom transition action and add another one from ledge climbing to ledge climbing. And the first thing we'll set uh, it to is our generic zone transition. So the character will transition, but it won't look like a jump yet. Um, uh, when you are transitioning from a movement mode to the same movement mode, the reverse action is ignored because it wouldn't make any sense because, well, it's the same movement mode. Okay, we've set the transition. And now the character can transition from ledge to ledge, albeit a bit basic. Okay, now we want the character to jump, uh, to play the jump animation. Have, I have two animation montages here, one for jumping left and one for jumping right. And both use root motion to move the character left or right, respectively. Now, in order to have a action that place a different montage depending on direction, we'll use um, the directional uh, zone transition and create a blueprint from that. And we'll call this ledge jumps. Now ledge jumps, uh, now the um, transition action is configured by using uh, both montages and adding them to these this array where you can kind of set, okay, if the character is moving in the uh, the left direction, which would be which would be the y axis of the character, we'll set it to minus one, and if it wants to move, if the character wants to move in the right direction, we'll set it to plus one. And now we apply the jump left to the left direction and the jump right to the right direction. Before we can use the transition, we also uh, make sh have to make sure that the zone is actually applied um, after the character has moved from zone to zone. So we'll add a notify, set zone, and place it to the very end. And we do the same thing for the right jump. Like so. This make sure that the character actually is attached to the new zone it is moving to. And, uh, okay, before we can actually use the transition, we'll have to set it so we replace our generic zone transition with our ledge jumps. Okay. And now, character should jump from ledge to ledge, as you can see. And the other way around. Now this is all well and good, however, um, it could happen that, let's say you have an animation uh, and that doesn't quite fit uh, how far the character can jump. So we'll configure it so the character can jump um, much further. So we'll open up the character blueprint and search for ledge jump horizontal, like so. Okay, um, so the default is about 150, I've set it to 300 and we'll set the transition character of the zones to our transition character. And now you can see the zones have a much further uh, transition and the character can jump much farther. However, the animation still doesn't line up, so once we jump, the character will kind of stay in the middle and then snap to the zone. And this is where transition correction comes into play. So let's do it for the right jump. We'll open up the animation, and now we'll add a 
second layer just to keep things a bit organized and add a end notify state and we add transition correction. This will make sure that the character will end up where it should and adds, it adds a little offset to the animation. Um, I can think of this like the root motion moves the character a certain amount to the right and the transition correction um, extracts the root motion and um, calculates, okay, the character will end up somewhere in the middle, but it should end up uh, much further to the side to uh, match the zone and will then, during the course of the animation, apply a delta movement to the character, so the character will at the end of the animation end up where it is expected to be. Now in order to drive how much correction is applied, we'll add an animation curve called transition location correction and this determines how much correction is applied. So we want um, the character to have zero correction applied at the beginning and at the end we want it to have 100% applied. And the end we'll say it's, it's about 3.4. Okay. Now let's test it out. So when the character jumps right, you can now see the character is slightly moved to the right and ends up on the other ledge. However, this doesn't look quite right since the character is kind of sliding the whole way there. And we want uh, the transition correction to be unnoticeable. So we'll only move the character while it is in the air. And for that, let's see, the character jumps about here, so it, it, let's go off the ledge about here. So we'll move the first key to this timeline, uh, to this time, at 1.7. And then the character grabs the ledge about here, so the transition correction should be done by that point, uh, which would be about 2 seconds. Okay, so now we'll jump and you can see the transition correction moves the character very fast to the other side and then stops correcting at the end. Another thing you can do is, since this is a regular curve or in the curve editor, you can um, set how the curve is interpolated. So in this case we kind of want a smooth transition. So we'll set the curve to have a ease in and ease out. And this will make the jump look a bit uh, smoother and more organic. And another thing you can do is if you want the transition to be faster we can simply change the, the uh, speed that the animation montage, montage plays at. So we'll set the speed to 2 and this will make the montage twice as fast and the transition as well. Yeah, and that's how transition actions with multiple directions and um, transition correction works. You can also use transition uh, rotation correction, but for this example it's not needed, so we're done. Thanks for watching!